Hey everybody and welcome back. This month is December. So that means that based on my stable of cards, I'm going to have quite a few reviews that I'm gonna to need to do. So I figure why not kick it off with a 12 month review of the Delta Platinum Sky Miles card. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back to my dad's channel. If you're new here, make sure to click that like button and subscribe and don't forget to share. So before I give you a year in review, I have to tell you where I started with this card. Now this card's pretty cool because it was my segue into seriously considering points and miles as a viable option to save money. Because when I decided to get this card, I was coming up on my 40th birthday and I'm thinking and I'm looking like I work super hard, sitting with my wife and we're just having a playful conversation like, yo, I'm gonna get this card because I want a nice card, we travel a lot. You know, who cares about the annual fee? I'll figure it out. The reserve was too much for me at the time without the understanding that I needed to apply all the tools that the reserves comes with. I chose to upgrade my Delta Amex blue card, which was the only airline card I had, to a platinum just to see what all the fuss was about. So long story short, I jump on YouTube to do a little research, you know, YouTube University, and I run across some credit card YouTubers and only to find out that there are countless videos about this card. People canceling it, people using it, people explaining it. And it started to make me think and then it started to inspire me. So with all of that considered, I dove head first into the credit card game. And once in the credit card game, I realized some of the mistakes I had already started making by not doing prior research. As a matter of fact, that upgrade from the blue to the platinum literally had me leaving money on the table. And we all know how I feel about leaving money on the table. Give me that. The reason I left money on the table is that I didn't upgrade without a new sign-on bonus. So I missed out on a bunch of Delta points because at that time I was not up on UR points or MR points. It, it didn't, I didn't know what I didn't know. So the learning curve was pretty broad. And then I realized that was the first mistake I made. Then I had to realize what it was that I needed to do with the benefits of this card and how to use it. And I was spending money on the card as if I was working towards a sub but I didn't have one. So I'm not gonna bore you with the benefits of the card because the card has been reviewed from A to Z, left, right, and center. I've actually even done my own videos about using the Companion Pass, one of the most powerful benefits of the card. So now let's get into the meat and potatoes. What happens after a year of the card? Well, I wasn't using it, so it was sock drawered. And the reason I was keeping it was for its Companion Pass, which is its superpower. And I've just returned back from a trip to San Francisco with the player two and we used the companion pass and it went fabulously, even getting us up to gold status with Delta, which is actually going to help us on our Sky Team status when we take our trip to Paris next month. So that is a super duper win-win. The card has actually been pretty good and I'll get into the numbers here so I don't bore you with a bunch of fluff. So firstly, since I already had an Amex relationship, the upgrade was a soft pull on my credit, so I didn't take a hit there. Fantastic, that's a pro. Con, I missed out on a sub, ouch. Now without taking a hit, this card came with more benefits and I'll get into the benefits that I used. So I did use the global entry, so I paid $100 for that, which was immediately refunded because that is one of the benefits of this card. So that immediately gave me a hundred dollar value. In addition to that, I did use the companion pass and I took away all the taxes and the fees and that companion pass ticket ended up being worth $437.21. In addition to that, I took advantage of Amex offers on the card and over the year, I have saved $75. That has been refunded back to the card. Now here's another con. The annual fee of the card was $250. But if you match that $250 over to all of the benefits that I have received from the card, I actually came out with a net positive value of $362.21. So that is definitely not bad for a card with a $250 annual fee. So I made my money back plus 
effectively, of course. So that is a pretty good thing. Now, one of the most striking things I was able to do with this card after a year of ownership is to turn it into this card. That's right. After a year of ownership, I actually decided to downgrade my card back to the Delta Blue, and I'll give you the reasons why. Now, I'm sure you didn't see that one coming, but we got to get into it. Now, I'm back to the Delta Blue where I started, and this is definitely different from the original Delta Blue that I had. They redesigned the card and it actually is reminiscent of the Platinum and the Reserve and the Gold. The only difference is, is this one is plastic as opposed to the metal overlay of the other ones. So now my reasons for downgrading. Firstly, it's a sock drawer card. I never use it, like literally ever. My Charles Schwab Platinum actually earns Delta points at a much faster velocity than this card and the card just sits there. Now, once again, I have used the companion pass, which is the card's superpower, but that leads me into my second reason, and it's that the player two has the card. So unless we're optimizing both, and I'm gonna tell you, she's not optimizing, she has it, but we have two companion passes that now we have to find time to use in addition to finding ways to use the offers, which is gonna lead you down a road of doing unnecessary spending. So I figured if I downgraded my card, she has hers. We still have a companion pass that we can use for the two of us, even though the companion pass is transferable and we're all good. I also have overlapping features such as overlapping global entry credits. Even though I've used this one, it's gonna come with TSA pre-check. What's the point of having two, three, four in the house? You get what I'm saying? Because she also is an AU on my Platinum as well. So we have these credits overlapping like crazy and we gotta find people to give them to or sell them or what have you in order to get usefulness out of them. Now the downgrade process was not terribly difficult. It wasn't a hard process. There was no retention as I was not closing the account. It actually took seconds. They sent out the new card. They let me know I could keep using the old one until the new one came and now that the new one's here, that's it, seamless transfer. That really speaks to Amex's customer service and how they get things done. Everything was snappy, speedy, and timely. But that is it, that is my year with the Delta Amex Platinum card. Now mind you, it is a good card. I do suggest it if you don't, if you're not really deep into the points and miles game, Delta Loyalist can make use of it when they do not wanna spend the high cost of the annual fee for the Delta Reserve, which in some cases requires a lot of spend to make use of that card, as I've outlined in a video. So I'm not telling you not to get it, it's just in my personal situation. I just figured something, there was a better alternative. Not even to say that it didn't work for me because the companion pass actually worked out very well for me, but my situation dictated that I go another route. What? that's it. Just wanted to get in contact with you guys about that. Like I said, I have a lot of reviews coming up, so you may see my releases coming out a little bit more frequently than you are used to. Now, mind you also, this is a year in review. I actually should have done this in November, but I was pretty busy working and I had a lot of stuff going on with my kids. So it's a little late, but that is my 12 month year in review of having the Delta Amex Platinum card. And I thank you if you stayed all the way to the end of the video. It's much appreciated. And until next time, I'll see you later.